Um, today, today in maths, we are going to be learning about using a ruler to do measuring. Um, so yesterday we were learning about how to do non-standard measuring, so with counters and cubes or maybe whatever toys you used at home. Um, and today we're going to be using a ruler because that helps us to make it more accurate. And accurate means that we really know how much it measures, we're not just guessing. So, pause the video to tell your adult what this blue um, rectangle is here. What do we use it for? And tell your adult if you know what the numbers are for. So, this is our ruler, and we use it for measuring the length of different objects. And the numbers tell us how many centimetres or millimetres or inches something is. So we'll be using the top ones for centimetres. Now this is how we are going to learn how to use a ruler. You find your, ob with your object you place it on zero centimetres, so here. Make sure that you do not go to the end of the ruler because that's not accurate. That's not where the ruler starts measuring from. We need to make sure that we are on zero. And when you've done that we can start measuring. So make sure also that you have it on the centimetre side. To find the length of the object, you place it on zero and then you look at the end of the object. Which number does it land on? So this one lands on six. So that means that this paper clip is six centimetres. Jack has lost some magic beans. All of Jack's beans are three centimetres long. Timmy has found a bean. Can you measure the bean to find out if it is one of Jack's beans? So we check, we make sure that our bean is on zero, which it is. And then we go to the other end and see which number it lands on. And it lands on three. So if we look back at our question, all of Jack's beans are three centimetres long. And this bean is three centimetres long. Yes, it's one of Jack's magic beans. Now, can you find something in your house that is shorter than 10 centimetres? Um, if you don't have a ruler at home, that's okay. You can print one from the internet um, and try to use that. So remember, we're looking for something in our house that is shorter than 10 centimetres. I'm going to do it as well. Pause the video to find some things. I found a pencil, a tiny short pencil, a coin, so some money, and my house key is smaller than 10 centimetres. Now here's some of your work for today. We are going to measure using these rulers. The scissors are, so remember, look at zero, and then which number does it land on? The scissors are something centimetres, the paper clip is something centimetres, the pencil is something centimetres and the key is something centimetres. Now if you don't like looking at this on the screen, you can go to the year one um, part of the Grange website and print it off. When you've finished that, those four questions, you can you find something in your house that is 5 centimetres, 10 centimetres, 15 centimetres, longer than 15 centimetres? and then email the year one email to let me know what you found. Now if you're in Miss Hooth or Miss Zadie's um, phonics group, I'd like you to try this extension challenge. But if anybody else has finished, feel free to try, try the challenge as well. Timmy measures a pencil with a ruler. He says that the pencil is 10 centimetres. He has, has he measured the pencil correctly? Timmy has not measured the pencil correctly because he started measuring from the beginning of the ruler and not at zero. So remember that Timmy's pencil is not at the edge, is at the edge where it should be at zero. So remember when we're measuring with a ruler, we start at zero, not at the end of the ruler. Now pause the video to try this one. Timmy is measuring a stick. Has he measured it correctly? How do you know? 
Remember to send your work to the year one email. We can't wait to see what you've been measuring.